Good morning everyone, Damien Evy here for this weekly analysis and we are the 29th of May 2023. So this is a swing trading day trading analysis using smart money concept and we will start with odd USD. So odd USD, here we are on the weekly chart. There was a kind of nice impressive move going up and then there is an inefficiency right here and an order block this weekly candle right here. So last week it touched the top of this order block from the weekly, was not able to close below, and we will switch on the daily chart to see what happened there. On the daily chart we can see there is an order block here, right here, and it's a huge zone of support and resistance with multiple rejection there. That's why when on Thursday the candlestick touched the level right here. So this is Thursday and this was Friday. And I will explain to you how we took this specific trade. So we went on the 15 minute chart. This was Thursday bottom. And then on Friday there is a stop hunt of the low right here. And then there is a change in character right there with this spike. So the entry was right here, stop loss below, and this one made four rewards already and it's still running because I would expect more reward on this one, okay? So this is a forward chart on AudioSD and the candlestick are not very strong still going up, so my target profit are around here. Now, from the daily perspective, we are still in a beautiful downtrend. And you can see the candlestick are pretty impressive going down. Beautiful candlestick. So there is a zone of support and resistance here plus an inefficiency. And then here at the top there is a strong level as well for rejection. So if we would see this week a nice rejection from those zone, and there is also the 50 MA on the forward chart, additional confluence, then there might be a trade, uh, a beautiful trade and the trend is very strong going down. So this level for a sell, those two levels are pretty nice. Now let's look at gold. Gold, there was a lot of compression here. All those zone of demand has been taken out and the liquidity was taken out a few weeks ago. There was a trade, a winning trade here. And now we arrive at a zone where there is an order block with an inefficiency above it, a daily order block right here. And this is as well a zone of support, a strong zone of support on the daily chart right here. If we look at the weekly chart, we have a weekly support zone right here around those two level at the bottom and we have on the weekly an inefficiency between this spike right here and this order block right here. So we are in an inefficiency zone. We are around the 20 EMA as a confluence from the weekly chart. And now if we zoom into the four hour chart, we can see there is some kind of a head and shoulder here, which mean a lot of people might already have bought here and there is some liquidity resting below. So once this liquidity is taken out, we will have eventually a nice opportunity for a buy. So you can go into my Telegram channel to get my signal when I will buy about this. Might not be today, might be tomorrow or the day after that. And then from the daily chart, we can see we have a nice impressive move with two nice candles going down and I have a zone, a strong zone of support and resistance just above. So this zone right here is a good level for a sell as well. And it is the daily line chart order block right here. So on gold there is a nice opportunity inventory for a buy and a sell right there. Euro USD on the daily chart and on the weekly we are on the weekly only, we are in an uptrend, okay? This is an uptrend weekly, not a very strong one because the price is going up down as a compression, which means weakness. Now price is coming back and around the 200 EMA, a very strong level from the institution. And we have a strong level of resistance right here that was a support before right there. And most of the time price succeed to go through this zone to the bottom of this zone.
So what I would expect, there was liquidity created here. There is a doji here, which means there is a lot of stop losses below this doji and above it, which means liquidity. And there was liquidity created as well on Thursday right here that was taken out on Friday. So what I would expect is a run on liquidity on the downside. And if there is a nice 15 minute change of character here, then you can eventually buy. And this looks like a beautiful trade as well. Now, from the daily perspective, the trend is not very strong going down. So the only level that really attract my attention for a sell is this strong level of support and resistance right here and this order block above it, daily order block above it. That would be in a premium zone for a sell. Let's look now at USD CHF. So USD CHF, we have a weekly strong move going down right there and we have a huge level of support and resistance right here. So this level has been tapped one time here took the liquidity on Thursday and Friday and reject it a little bit. But what I would expect since we are at the beginning of the week is another tap into this zone and then a sell off from there. This looks like a good opportunity with a strong level of support and resistance right there. And since the weekly is downtrend, I would like to buy but around the bottom, which means the order block took the liquidity on the daily right here. There was liquidity there and then this order block right here took the liquidity. So this is a good order block for a buy and this might be next week or the week after that. But for now, short term, I would like to sell here and I would like to see eventually this zone to be touched and see a nice reversal pattern. Uh, today is not a good day to trade, so maybe tomorrow I will see, depending on what happened today and eventually what happened tonight during the New York Open. And that will be it for this week. If you want the full analysis, the profile is available on my Telegram channel with more than 40 pairs. And there is live signal um, released for free as well on my Telegram channel. I wish you a successful trading week and see you next week. Bye everyone.